My inspiration to making my little model of the Viking longhouse comes from my visit to many longhouses here in Denmark and abroad. I've seen a lot of them and uh, that has inspired me to make my own little model. But this house in Leier, Denmark, called the King's Hall, that was built in uh, 2020, has inspired me because I found a lot of footage uh, from that building. And as you can see in these pictures, you can see how the uh, structure was built. And uh, I even found some uh, drawings of the longhouse that I could use in my little project. So you can see here in the picture how that looks. And uh, yeah, that's what inspired me to make my little model. Uh, this is the most uh, authentic one I've seen. And uh, you can see the interior. I tried to make it look a little bit like that. And uh, first I had to make a template on how I wanted the house to be. Um, I made it in 1 to 50. Uh, that was a good uh, measurement I could use in all my um, drawings. So here, this is how it looks. And uh, then I draw these so I could uh, have something to work from. I had some uh, oak uh, wood that I used for the structure. I just have to cross it and uh, uh, put it down in the hole that I made in this uh, little board I got. I haven't filmed the whole process and I'm not going to talk about every step. Uh, you can see in the footage uh, some of the things I made during this uh, build and uh, hopefully you can be inspired to make something similar if you want to do that. But as you can see here, I made the structure and uh, yeah, some fine cuttings. And later on in this process, you can see how I built the roof and the walls and so on.
and I choose to make it so I could uh, lift off the roof when it was finished. It made it much easier when I was working inside the longhouse. Um, there were many things I would make different if we should uh, make such a longhouse again. I would uh, be sure that the, all the poles and so on would be the same length. Uh, when I made this, I had to uh, adjust a lot to make it all uh, fit perfectly together. But in the end, it turned out great, I think. And uh, beside the oak wood that I used for the structure, I used uh, pine wood uh, for the roof and the walls and so on. And you can see the details here. And uh, for most of it, I used white glue uh, that is uh, used for wood, and it works perfectly. It's uh, very sturdy, and it will hold for a long time.
I uh, painted it with some uh, color that I think looks old. I didn't want it to look as a new house, but an old house that has uh, been for many years. So I experimented a little bit with uh, different kinds of painting and I'm very pleased with it. I think it looks really good now. And uh, at the end I painted the roof in a color that was a little bit different than the rest of the house. I used my little uh, laser burner to burn some uh, shields that I cut out of this wood and uh, I could uh, put them inside the Viking house. Then I made all the uh, small furniture and so on. Uh, this is the little weave I have inside my Viking house. This was very uh, time consuming but I love it anyhow. I think it's uh, nice to see uh, these things come out well and I hope you like them too. As you can see here I have a little uh, tanning place. I made this height so it looked like it was uh, in the process of tanning. Yeah. And I also made some uh, armory, a little axe here. I made a spear and a sword too uh, that is inside the uh, house at the entrance, the weapon house I call it. Thank <laughs> you.